Hello friends, it's Bifrost Fluids Day today. Uh, we're gonna create a liquid, then we'll create a collider, and then we'll create a kill plane. We won't do fancy rendering here, and water with uh, primitive light, so to say, looks pretty primitive. It looks like a black whatever, not even a liquid. Uh, so the rendering of water is something different which we won't concentrate on today. So in order to create a liquid we need a polygon mesh and uh, I take uh, the torus because it's a nice and uh, not too simple um, thing and um, with this selected I choose liquid. It's down here, the little container jumps up that's an interesting process. Maya does some calculation here. And um, if we run the animation now and watch that, or keep in mind that this is still selected, the frame is still selected. The frame is called Bifrost Liquid 1 right here. And now you see particles falling from the torus into the infinite ground. We'll um, do this, uh, make this a little bit more complicated now uh, with the collision object. But here you see the green line means that's what's being cached. You can scrub in here and uh, check the simulation. Nothing is really happening apart from the particles falling down and not changing the shape, uh, or the original shape. Actually, you can hide the torus now if you want and still this, uh, the simulation will be the same. It's just the emit emitting uh, object. You're more interested in the water which comes uh, out of that object. Now, um, let's create a plane where the water is supposed to land on. I make the plane pretty small and I move it a little bit to the side and I rotate it a little bit. Uh, so we get um, a maybe a more interesting simulation. Um, with this selected, you need to select the Bifrost Liquid 1. So both are selected now. And uh, you go to the Bifrost uh, Fluids menu and choose Collider. It's all done now. And now you have to rerun the simulation. And in order to rerun the simulation, this is not what you want. You see nothing happens. You need to select that frame which is the Bifrost Liquid 1. And now you see there's something happening there at the at the ground floor. It falls off that tiny little ground floor. Now what we want, you see here, quite nice actually, and imagine when you render it, it looks like water. You need a good light in order to see it properly. Um, by the way, here you see the particles which make, which sort of uh, generate the the water in the rendering. You can also click dis uh, display here and voxels which show you sort of a structure of the water down here. You know, this is the ground plane and a big, big uh, waterfall comes down. Uh, voxels on or off. Um, keep in mind you need to have Bifrost Liquid 1 selected. That's here under the Attribute Editor. And then you can turn off particles. You won't see the particles anymore. And you can turn on, on the voxels so you see the voxels. But let's stick to the particles because uh, they show a more precise, precise uh, motion here. So the last thing I want to show you in this tutorial is the kill plane. Uh, the thing is when you uh, let this animation happen, the uh, water falls into the infinite ground. And even if you render only this scene here. Uh, the water will be simulated and Maya has to do a lot of simulation work uh, of things which are happening beyond your vision. So uh, they introduced the kill plane and the kill plane does nothing special it just kills all simulation beyond a plane 
and it's an infinite plane although it will look when I invoke it to the command now it looks like a small plane you see you I don't know if you can scale it, but it doesn't matter at all. It goes into the infinite, but you can rotate it like this. And um, you uh, important to see is the position, really. In this case, in uh, in the uh, y-axis, because beyond that plane, all simulation will stop, and Maya will be relieved of uh, keeping on with the simulation. So um, the kill plane is there. Now we need, as you remember, to select the frame. Where is it? Somewhere. And um, here it is. And now it simulates the particles falling on the plane, onto the plane, falling off the plane, and then nothing else happens. So in the depth of that scene, you know, very far below, nothing will be simulated. That's why it's simulating pretty fast. And now as a final thought, let's go to a position where we have the particles sort of falling here. Yeah, they just arrived on the surface and now that they're trying to fall off. Now we do a rendering. In order to render with Arnold we need a light and we create um, a sky dome light which will be much too bright I guess and um, we do a render. Arnold render view you have to click on the you have to click on the play button here in order to render this and that's what you see. That's the gray plane and that's the water uh, basically a big water drop it has to do with dimensions here very much with dimensions uh, which is a tricky subject as well uh, so that's a big drop of water basically instead of a nice stream of water so it depends on how you look at this for example from um, a kitchen sink one drop of water could behave like that falling on to a very small like a one square centimeter surface well that's uh, what I wanted to tell you about starting with bifrost fluids <laughs>